Good morning, you guys. I hope that you are well today. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a house tour of the inside of our house. Now we have just under an acre and we also have a casita and what we call a garage and a shed, a chicken run, a woodshed. If you guys ever wanna see the property that we own here, let me know, I can give you a tour of the outside, but today is just gonna be the inside. <laughs> Our house is situated in New Mexico in a very small mountain range or about 7,300 feet above sea level. The locals, some of the locals in Albuquerque, I have heard say that we live up in the pines. I would describe our house as a cottage stall cabin, but maybe let me know what you think down in the comments, what style you think it is. Um, it's been raining here for five days and I have you propped on the bed and my dogs are right here wrestling as I'm sure you saw my puppy but they're both up here now so let's get this tour started shall we all right you guys so this is our front door from the inside this is a view of the living room when you first walk in yes the dogs are real I repeat the dogs are real Okay, I tricked them into going outside. We'll see how long it takes them to realize I'm not out there with them. Let's just fix these. Oh, it's been raining, so house is muddy. Floor is kind of a mess. Different areas are a mess. This is real life. This is a real life tour, guys. So when you first walk in, we have this drop zone over here where we hang our coats. It's a little full right now because the weather is turning. We also have this vintage trunk that we use to put our everyday shoes in. It has a nice little shelf that we can put like our tennis shoes on that we use pretty much every day and then you can lift it out and there's more space inside. I do need to winterize it. I haven't really changed anything in this space except some decor. This is a footboard that I DIY'd. We have this little reading nook right here, crafting nook that I can use when I'm crocheting or knitting. Let's be real though, guys. The dogs have taken over this chair. This is now the dog's chair. Our entire house, so this is the front door, our entire house is tongue and groove, knotty pine with beams running throughout, downstairs and upstairs. And then we have this nice accent wall here I like the middle part of it where the boards are going in different directions. I widened the angle for you guys just a little bit. I'm standing with my back up against our front door. The space looks a little bit longer on camera than it is in person, but it is a really pretty good size space. So, oh, it's been two minutes, two minutes, okay. So the wood stove here is our main source of heat. It used to be adobe, but the previous owners put this stone up around it and I think it's so pretty. This mantelpiece is a DIY from the um, headboard of the same piece, this piece that I just showed you. It's the same bed frame we found in the shed when we moved in. And then I put some antique doorknobs on it for hooks. But this is our main source of heat. It's about to get real messy up in here because winter is approaching and it gets just messy. If you know, you know. Usually we have a huge dog bed right here in the middle of our carpet. I moved it for you guys. It's this guy's dog bed. He's a Vigla. Also, if you know, you know. This is our little air purifier. I have to have it. If I don't have it, I get sick. So that's what that is, if you're wondering. Got a little dog toy basket. This sideboard, I have painted several times. I kind of want to refinish the top of it. That might be in a future video. Plants don't do super well in this house, but I have been attempting to keep some alive. Try to put them close to windows if I can. We've got this little moment in the middle of our wall here. My husband loves cuckoo clocks. 
So this cuckoo clock is a recent thrifted find. It's not currently working. The top piece is actually right here. He wants to take it into a clock like repair shop. He just hasn't gotten it done yet. So I, I'm not sure why he didn't attach that top piece back on, but he didn't. <laughs> so we've got this moment. These sconces um, were a DIY. I will say the hot glue did not hold up. I did have to re-glue one of them with E6000. I have a video on all these DIYs. So if you do this DIY from my video, then make sure you use a stronger glue than hot glue. The curtains I recently put up with a dowel rod and an old belt that I don't use anymore. I have a video on that too. I'll say it one more time. I have videos on all these DIYs. Oh my goodness, I'm a broken record, but these are linen curtains. I hung all the way up to the ceiling to hopefully make the ceiling look taller. The dark ceilings kind of enclose spaces a little bit. Um, even though actually these ceilings are eight and a half feet tall, so they're not really that low, but it's just kind of a trick of the eye. We thrifted this couch. Um, I would eventually like a different toned couch instead of an orange tone that matches the walls, but it's a really nice couch. I would never recommend leather for pet owners such as we are because it scratches and the couch has been through the ringer since it's come into our family. The lamp is a thrift find for $18. This is the other half of that footboard that I DIY'd. This picture behind the lamp is a flower that my husband took. He takes beautiful pictures. Over on the other side of the patio door, we have another picture. We do have a dog door. It typically is not this wet at our house. Um, we've had a dog door since we moved to New Mexico. And I don't think we would ever not have a dog door. These Ottomans were also, well, I'll call them a thrift flip. I reupholstered them like three or four years ago. They do, do get, bleh, they do get dirty on top because, as you can see, they're also a dog bed. But um, those have lasted really well. I used outdoor upholstery fabric, and it's held up super well. This rug we've had for like eight years. It's in pretty bad shape, but it's pretty cute. Okay, so these are our built-ins. Let me just widen the angle again. So I change these out frequently. I can't help myself, but right by the fireplace here, um, I pressed some flowers recently. So this is a DIY on that. And then we just have odds and ends. My husband is a Stein collector and I just have, I don't know, different little things that we like. Sometimes I change things out. We're at home up here. The O changes out frequently with the seasons and holidays. This is pretty good for storage for us. And then this is where we keep our wood here. So the storage in this built-in unit is pretty awesome. We only have one closet in this house, so it really helps to have this here. And our TV, we had this when we moved in here and it fits just barely. If we had a bigger TV, I don't think it would fit in this space. This is the view on wide angle from the middle of the living room so you can kind of see what the space looks like a little bit better. We normally do have blankets piled up here too. I put those away for you guys. And then we also have a Starlink box that we have usually over here on the floor. I also put that away for you guys, but most of the stuff is just left it out. These pillows are an Etsy purchase. They, um, hold on, let me zoom in. They're super durable, but they are scratchy. I don't really love them. We actually usually have them flipped around for the backside because the front side is a rug and it's just, I think it's wool, but it's really scratchy on your face, but he's still there. 
As you can see, it has been raining. Our floors also used to be Saltillo tile, but I think the previous owners removed it. I'm not sure who removed it. I think it was the previous owners. I don't know why my heart breaks a little bit. This is just a vinyl plank flooring that they put down. It is super easy to maintain, but oh man, I think that Saltillo tile would bring so much character, so much more character into our house. I hope to one day put some Saltillo tile back into the house, but for now we're just sticking with this floor here, which is perfectly fine. Okay, and then so this space leads directly into our kitchen which we will talk about next. We have a really nice large peninsula, which we love. Honestly, it does usually have a few piles of things on it, but I have been trying to keep it really cleared off. I made a little fall moment for you guys. Oh, how special. <laughs> I whitewashed this little section here a few days ago and I absolutely hate it. So, I don't know, I'm thinking I'll sand it back to what it was or flip the boards around. We'll see. Our kitchen used to stop right here. The fridge was here and it was just up to that window that you see against this back wall. And the previous owners added the peninsula, putting in this little area here to connect the two sides of the kitchen, which I think was kind of genius and I actually think we found a really good use for it, which is our coffee bar. Usually our coffee bar has tons of coffee grounds, but I wiped those up for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. But this has been super useful. Put a little decorative basket on the open shelf, and then we have our Vitamix down below. But all the extra storage in the peninsula has been a game changer. We have plenty of storage. I would say we have an overabundance of storage in here. And we have quite a few kitchen things. The black stainless steel microwave and stove were here. We did have to purchase the fridge. We got a family hub. Would we buy it again? No, I'd rather spend my money on something else. Do I use the technology almost daily? Yes. Um, I really wanted it for recipes when I was cooking, but the internet app is always erroring out on me in the middle of a recipe, and so I hate it. Hate it. But I do love the fridge. It has a nice little flex drawer, and I like the freezer, the um, freezer on the bottom and the fridge drawers up top. I also don't think I would ever get an indoor water dispenser again. They just get so messy. I'd rather have a pitcher on the inside. And I'd also rather have stainless steel rather than black stainless steel. Not that I'm complaining guys. I just kind of wanted to give you a little review in case you were looking into buying new appliances. The black stainless steel does tend to scratch more easily than the stainless steel and then the black coating comes off. We also have the hickory cabinets. The only thing we did was add the poles to the cabinets because they had none before. Pretty much no changes by us were made to this space except for painting and you know the decor. I do like my little wooden tray over here from Target. I use it for oils and stuff does keep it a little nicer. And then I've got this little white plate that I've been liking a lot so that everything doesn't just drip on the granite. And then we've got stainless steel sink, which I did clean for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. And then we've got a couple of antique plates that I hung up. They're for my grandma. Yeah. Pretty nice little space, I would say. My favorite part is probably the little decorative tiles that tie in with the um, the fireplace surround. This is probably my favorite part. And my dogs are going absolutely crazy because this poor man is trying to walk. 
Call the cops. He's trying to walk. My crazy dogs. Poor guy. Overall though, guys, I couldn't be happier with our kitchen. This is probably one of our favorite spaces in our house. It works so well for us. We cook so much and it's just really lovely the finishes that they put in before us and I don't know, I just think it's a really cute, cozy space with plenty of space though to move around, especially with my husband and I. We're usually cooking together, but we never have any issues with each other being in the way or not having enough space. I wanted to show you guys our little robot vacuum. I would highly recommend this. I would buy this again and again and again. I try to run it every single day. I try. I don't always get it done, but I do find that if I do run it every single day, the dust really is kept to a minimum for a longer period of time. It's awesome. We have a self-dumping one, which if you're going to get one, spend the extra money on a self-dumping so that when it is full, it'll just dump itself. Because if you leave the house, you're not going to be able to dump it. So I would highly recommend that. But so this guy is running right now. You might hear him in the background. But right off the kitchen, we have this little nook over here where we have our dog food and water for our one dog. And then our other dog eats by the front door. But just this little area over here. This door right here that you can see this little cubby is actually where our furnace is back up in there it doesn't work but there is a furnace in there I need to clean the dog bowl station I like the little accent wall with the wood going in all different directions kind of think that's cute This little guy right here is our pantry. I really like how they just kind of stuck it there. I really do, I'm not being sarcastic, like I really do think it was a good idea. Otherwise we wouldn't have a pantry anywhere. Yes, it's at a bit of an odd angle. And the vacuum, sorry about that guys. But it's plenty of space for us, just the two of us. We never have it completely full. I never feel like, oh, I wish we had a bigger pantry. I did paint the inside of it and we still love that DIY. One of my favorite DIYs probably in the house that was the most effective. And then I put the little shelf liners on each of the shelves and those have been holding up really, really well. I do still really like the artwork that I put right here too. It's just a print that I bought the download off of Etsy and then just a couple of fabric scraps. I think that looks like mountains and then this looks like stars to me. So I do think that's pretty cute. And then right on the other side of our pantry door here. So right here, this door actually leads to our guest bath or our downstairs bath. I will say we don't really use this bathroom as far as showering. I have been wanting to change this shower curtain out. So let's do that here in three, two, one. A little wrinkly, but you get the idea. Okay, so this bathroom, like the rest of our house, is pretty dark. So I apologize for the lighting. Let's see if that's a little better. So I, let's see, I spray painted this mirror black. It has been holding up really well given, like I said, we don't use the shower in this room, but um, we're still really liking that as well as the light fixture. Um, this towel ring was a DIY. Um, I will say that I dyed the beads and the dye is transferring just slightly onto the wall behind it. I would like to put a cuter little knob on there, but just haven't done it. Um, the vanity I painted, it's holding up so, so well. Um, the 
paint I used on it is DIY by Debbie's Design Diary in Bohemian Blue and that paint is just so high quality. I'm not worried about this vanity chipping or anything. It has a couple little spots but I didn't prime it or anything. I did put a top coat on it but it's holding up so well. We're so grateful to have two bathrooms in this house. It's really nice to have one downstairs like this. This wall, this accent wall is holding up pretty nicely. I wish I would have, um, let's see here. This uh, board, I kind of wish that I would have made sure I attached it to the wall where studs were. I feel like it might come crashing down one day. But otherwise, I'm still liking this wall quite a bit. Super cute with the two different tones of blue. And then we've got our little rug here. I don't know, it's a cute little bathroom for, you know, a guest or whatever. I do want to retile it one day, but it's pretty great just the way it is too. Without that spider. Ugh, I hate spiders. And then of course, I love Harry Potter, so I had to put a little Dumbledore quote over here. I like it. But we do have a little cupboard over here that reminds me of Harry Potter's little nook underneath the stairs. Behind this cupboard is our utility space. So it has our water pump, our pressure tank for our water system, our purifier, our, I don't know, just our water stuff is in there. Oh, we have a tankless water heater. It's a really small space under the stairs, but it, ha it works for what we've got back there. Got these little pictures that I hung up during the laundry remodel. Let me turn off this light. There is a spider. Do you see this spider? It is freaking me out. It's freaking me out. So anyway, these are pictures that my husband took and I hung up here with some command strips. This one right here has fallen down. Oh yes, it fell down. I feel like if it falls down again, the frame will bust. <laughs> so they're not exactly as perfect as they were when I hung them up. I don't think I'd use command strips again myself personally because it fell down. I was pretty disappointed with that. So. Otherwise, our laundry area over here, I am super happy with it. It is probably also, um, besides the pantry, the most transitioned in a positive way space in our home. It used to be super dark. I have a video on all of these DIYs if you're interested in any of them, but this space has been working for us beautifully. If you're wondering, we do have a combo washer dryer, which is on right now, if you wanna know how loud it is. Ooh, I'm standing by the spider. Standing by the spider. If you're wondering why we got a combo, it's because we have enough space here for a washer and dryer, but it just, it would just be so tight to have a dryer here too. I would buy the combo again over and over and over for our house. If I had a dedicated laundry room with enough space for a washer dryer, I would go traditional because of the vent, vented dryer. I think that would be much better, especially with pets. But in our space, this is just what works. Oh, can you hear the, uh, the pump? This guy right here just kicked on. Still on because the washer's on. But anyway, this is our water setup right now. It's going to be changing soon because we're actually going to be putting in a catchment system. But I will talk more about that at another time. So this door is just right here in the laundry space. I don't know why I'm still yelling. I have this little vintage poster that I put over our, um, over our electrical box. 
Review on these, the frames continuously kept falling off again and again and again. And they were 16 bucks a piece, so I was not happy with that. So eventually I just rubber cemented them. They have not fallen off yet um, since I did that. It's been a couple weeks. We'll see. But yeah, the frames I was super disappointed with. I'm still... Let's, sorry about the lighting, guys. I'm still really happy with the accent wall. I think it was a super easy way to get a cute little effect back here. This is where our vacuum lives. Mudroom is right here. It is a filthy mess right now. I am not going to show you. I still need to actually get in there and do a makeover, so I'm not going to show you. Sorry. Before I forget, let's talk about this DIY. I love this DIY. Do we ever use it? No. Do I like the light bulb? No. Do I have to charge it for eight hours? Yes. Does it only last a week? Yes. I, if you know of a different brand of a rechargeable light bulb that actually maybe doesn't take as much time to charge and lasts a little bit longer, let me know in the comments, but I think it's really a cute idea and I think the light bulbs will get there, but the light bulb that we purchased is not quite there yet. Okay, so we're gonna head upstairs now. So this is kind of the laundry space where we just were and then we've got our stairs here. So we do have an open loft area upstairs. So right here is just completely open. Got a couple of more vintage posters here that fell off their frames continuously. And then a nice light fixture and this plant I've had for like, oh, 15 years. But yeah, let's head upstairs. All right, I've still got you guys on wide angle. Here's normal angle. So the dog beds here, this is where they sleep need to wash them. They're pretty, pretty dirty from the rain, but this brown one is the one that's usually down in the living room. Got this hanging plant. That's a DIY. Light fixture up here. Sorry for the light. And we've got this gallery wall. Let me, this gallery wall that I recently did here. This, um, whole area was recently repainted and kind of made over. I have a video on that. Real life guys, this air purifier, the black tall tower and the white humidifier are always here in the middle of this cabinet. I have to have them. I get so sick if I don't have them. So they're just kind of hanging out there. Not the prettiest thing, but inside this cabinet here, we use for blankets. Kind of messy. Got our water treatment stuff and I usually use that Tupperware to fill the humidifier and just a towel to wipe things up. But yeah, we um, store our blankets in here, which is super, super helpful since we only have one closet. And then we've got our bed over here. Um, yeah. I don't know. We like it. I did this um, DIY like focal wall here. I have a tutorial on it if you're interested. This floor fan is always here pretty much year round, even in the winter. So it's kind of blocking the pretty plants. Got this little plant corner over here because this is a south facing window. This is the one closet we have right here. Got a basket here so my husband will be encouraged not to leave his clothes on the floor. <laughs> but so our closet here, it's a pretty good size. It's plenty big for us. Um, we do have an attic. I'll show you the little itty bitty door for our attic is back here. So we have our Christmas stuff there, and then 
I think just one tote with some miscellaneous like sentimental items in the attic, but it's not really that big of a space for storage wise. So we try to keep holiday stuff to a minimum. So yeah, you can see it's a pretty long space from this angle. And then this here is right here is our ensuite. And then this is our ensuite. I haven't really worked on this a whole bunch. I want to repaint um, and maybe someday retile. But it's a pretty nice little ensuite. I love having it actually. What I wanted to show you guys, let me zoom out. Right here behind the towels, we have our little linen closet nook. Just used every nook and cranny that they could think of. So that's where we store our towels and such. This little mini barn door. Today's crazy. I'm just gonna do the outro right now, right here. So if it didn't come across on the video, I would just like to say that my family feels so incredibly blessed to have this property and this house chock full of character. So I hope that came across. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. My puppies really appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh. Good morning, you guys. I hope that you are doing so well today. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Good morning, guys. I hope that you are doing really well today, for real. Today we're going to be doing a house tour, the inside of our house. We have just under an acre. So if you ever want to see a tour of... <laughs> Honestly, we love our dogs. Love our dogs. Let's um just talk about something real quick. It has been raining here for five days straight. It's the beginning of October and it has not stopped raining, which we are not complaining about because we are in the desert, but these guys are stir crazy. Trying to edit my video. If you know, you know. <laughs>